and everybody welcome back to my channel so for today's video i have a diy on how i made this skittles inspired squishy this is basically a two-in-one it's almost like a paper squishy as well as like normal squishies which are the individual kind of skittles as themselves um i made them out of little off cuts of memory foam and then obviously the main packaging paper squishy part of it out of paper and just some pens i will try and leave similar links to the ones that i've used down in the description so that you can check those out i know the ones that i use usually use aren't actually in stock at the moment i don't know if they're going to be coming back in stock on amazon or whatever but i got them from amazon but i'll try and leave a few little amazon links down in the description just in case you want something similar so i've had a ton of um like requests and stuff for paper squishies of skittles as well as normal squishies so i thought i would combine the two and kind of make a two in one squishy and i thought that that would be fun to do today so yeah i'm just going to get stuck straight on into how i made this before i do though i just want to make sure that you're staying at home staying safe staying healthy as possible and yeah hopefully these projects are keeping you nice and busy i'm trying to post every single day at the moment so if you don't want to miss out on any future uploads then please do make sure to you know stay subscribed give the videos a like if you like them and yeah i'm just gonna get stuck straight on into it so like I said in the intro, I actually made these little skittles out of memory foam offcuts that I had left over from just a previous project. I cleaned out my craft room recently and I had loads of little bits of foam so I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity in order to make the skittles kind of design that I've been thinking about recently so that's why I'm back here making it today. So to make the kind of skittles, I just took small pieces of foam, cut them into a cylinder and then just kind of like beveled off the top edge and then smoothed that out as I had that done. So kind like a spaceship shape to begin with and then just smoothing it all out until it was basically like a squashed sphere just like a skill shape a jumbo skill shape you just want to like shape it just keep on going with your scissors flatten it out smooth it out as much as possible as this will give you the smoothest possible texture in the end once you have your skittles kind of base you'll then want to pop it onto a skewer or a cocktail stick something like that so you could paint the whole thing at once this will save you a whole bunch of time and you want to do two layers of white in total and then on each one you want to make them the colors of the skittles so i obviously did mine in the green the yellow the orange the red and then the purple and i was making the original skittles so that's why i chose these colors i did one layer of the color and then two layers of the white underneath that so in total each squishy had three layers of puffy paint on in total once i had the colors i then painted on a white s onto them you can do the same so that they look like actual skills or if you're going to make m&ms you can obviously put m's on them i thought wow they're actually really similar to m&ms so yeah if you want to make m&ms in the same way this will be a great tutorial just skip the s and put an m so with the faces i decided to put faces on mine you obviously don't have to i just made sure that they were like pretty much in the middle and whether they was going over the s's or not i didn't really mind because they were still skittles in my mind just with a cute little face on like i said if you don't like faces you don't have to put them on but i like to put faces on absolutely everything so i just did that making sure that pretty much all of the faces were slightly different some had little winky eyes some had little mouths open and some of them had little mouths shut for some reason my yellow skittle ended up being really small and it's only at this kind of time that i realized but hey that doesn't matter so moving on i made the paper squishy packaging part and in order to do that i just folded an a4 piece of paper in half i then took a pencil and then drew around all of my skittles to make sure i had the window size that i wanted so that i could see all the skittles through and then i took some of my um, felt tip markers which i actually bought from amazon these are the magic fly jewel tip brush pens and i bought a hundred in a set and i just drew a rainbow and then i just wrote out the word skittles just using a fine liner side of the red that i was going to be using for the rest of the packaging using the brush side of the pen i then just started coloring in and around that just started fine lining at the outline of the rest of the word and coloring in and doing the same and blah 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 all the way until the whole page was completely covered i did mess up the t on the second t there on the skittles so i actually did go back in and add in a little bit of acrylic paint just to kind of bulk that out again and make it look like i had hadn't missed that extra little crossing of the tea there off but I did an actual fact 
I also coloured the other half of the piece of paper in this same red colour just to make sure that I had some sort of back design. Um, I didn't show this on camera because it took me absolutely forever but I did just colour that in with the same colour that I used on the front. To cut out the little panel I just basically folded the piece of paper in the middle of the section that I was cutting out, made a little slit and then just cut that square out. Once I had that I then turned it like the opposite side up and then I just stuck down about four or five layers of tape just one kind of slightly overlapping the rest then switched over again and then stuck tape over to cover up the sticky side leaving me with a nice clear window. I then just popped the skittles inside making sure that they were facing out of the little window and then I just sealed the whole squishy up just like I would any other paper squishy except just this time you can kind of see the inside bits and they're already cute instead of just like ugly bits of foam so yeah it's basically just like a two in one squishy just a normal one and a paper squishy one as well. So once all the packaging is all taped up and all the other squishies are inside, they are then complete. So I wish I kind of did my packaging window a little bit smaller so that they look like kind of a little bit more compact in there. I think I just cut it a little bit too big, but that doesn't matter. Really, really happy with how they have turned out. Apart from this little yellow one. I don't know why the yellow one's turned out quite so small. I just cut him a little bit kind of... Got a bit carried away with the scissors there. I tried to cut them out of the same size, but that one there just seems to be really, really small in comparison. But yeah, really, really happy with the packaging. I did colour the back in completely in the red. I ran out of tape halfway through, so I'm going to have to get hold of some more of that. Um, but yeah, really happy with it. I love the colours of the little Skittles. They squish nicely in there. You can obviously squish them individually, or you can squish them as kind of like a hole, as like a paper squishy. Um, but yeah, really, really happy with them. I think they've turned out so cute. I love all their little faces. I kind of got the idea for this one from my cheesy puffs squishy video. I don't know if you remember that. I made that about two years ago now, and it's still one of my favourites. It's one of like my most popular videos as well. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be a fun little spin on that one for today. And obviously, we've got the little squishies in there. I think they're so cute. Just love the little faces. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, as it really does help me to know what type of videos you'd like to see on my channel. The more you like of a specific video, the more I'm going to be uploading it. I only pay attention to the likes, not the dislikes. Um, but yeah, so yeah, please do like the video if you did enjoy it and want to see more of this type of content. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you very soon for another video. Bye.